Hi, StoryWorks Junior readers. I'm Lauren Tarshis. I'm the editorial director of StoryWorks Junior and the author of the I Survive series. I am so excited to be here with you today to share this special video read aloud of my article, Into the Dark Water. It's the story of a ship that I'm pretty sure you've heard of, the Titanic. Back in 1912, the Titanic was the most spectacular ship ever built, a ship that everyone believed was unsinkable. But then disaster struck in the middle of its very first voyage. Like so many of us, I have always been fascinated by the Titanic. In fact, I wrote about it in my first book in my I Survive series. This article, though, is a true story of a real Titanic passenger, 17-year-old Jack Thayer. As I hope you will agree, Jack's experience on the night the Titanic sank makes for a thrilling story. So now, let's dive in. In a few hours, the Titanic would be at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. More than 1,500 people would be dead. But at 11 o'clock that evening, April 14th, 1912, everything seemed fine. Jack Thayer, 17, went outside onto the ship's deck before going to bed. He stared at the sky the stars were shining as brightly as diamonds. The ocean was calm. All was quiet, except for the hum of the ship's engines. This smart boy from Philadelphia had much to feel glad about. He and his parents were returning from a trip to Europe. He was on the Titanic. It was the biggest, most elegant ship ever built. His large first-class cabin was as fancy as a room in the finest hotel. The swimming pool was heated. Meals were served on gold dishes. Jack felt so lucky to be on the ship's first transatlantic voyage. In three days, the ship was due in New York. Jack imagined crowds cheering as the ship pulled in. Around 11 o'clock, Jack went back to his cabin. Just as he was about to get into bed, the engine stopped. It was strangely quiet. Jack rushed outside to see what was happening. It turned out that the ship had struck an iceberg. Nobody yet thought of any serious trouble, Jack would later say. The ship was unsinkable. Most people believed that the Titanic safety features would keep the ship floating. But the iceberg's sharp edges had poked holes in the side of the ship. Water was pouring into the ship's lower levels. The designer of the ship warned that the Titanic would sink in an hour. Just as scary, the Titanic had only 20 lifeboats. The people who designed the ship never thought they would need more. The boats could fit only about half of the passengers and crew members. The Titanic was about 1,200 miles from New York. The ocean water was freezing. This shocks the body right away. The heart slows. The skin begins to freeze. Death comes within 45 minutes. If people couldn't escape by lifeboat, they had almost no hope of survival. Back in his cabin, Jack tied on his life preserver and put on his coat. Then he rushed back up to the deck with his parents. Everyone there seemed confused. Jack and his parents walked all over the ship, hoping to find a lifeboat. Suddenly, Jack was separated from his parents. He became sure that they had boarded a lifeboat, leaving him behind. And there were no lifeboats left. Jack was on his own. He tried to stay calm. The ship kept sinking. Jack waited until the ship was low enough in the water that he could jump in without getting hurt. That moment came at about 2.15 a.m. Jack threw off his coat. He jumped as far out from the ship as he could. Down and down I went, spinning in all directions, he later said. He hit the water hard and was pulled under. 
He swam to the surface. He was gasping from the cold. But then his hand hit an overturned lifeboat. Four men were balancing on it. One of them helped Jack up. Then they watched the Titanic in its final sad moments. The front of the ship went underwater. The bottom rose high into the sky. Hundreds of people dropped into the sea. And the lights finally went out. Then, in a moment of eerie quiet, the ship disappeared into the ocean. The lifeboat floated in the dark. Jack was so cold and scared he could barely move. He was sure he would die. But then came a light. At 3.30 a.m., a ship called the Carpathia arrived. Its captain had rushed his ship through the icy waters. He wanted to find the passengers of the Titanic. When Jack boarded the rescue ship, he was shocked to see his mother. He was also filled with joy. Then his mom asked a simple question. Where is your father? They learned that Mr. Thayer had not boarded a lifeboat. He did not survive. I should have known that he would not have taken a boat leaving me behind, Jack later said. The Carpathia, carrying the Titanic 705 survivors, docked in New York City on April 18th. It was greeted by a crowd of 30,000 people. Jack and his mother then returned to Philadelphia. Jack later married and had two sons. He also wrote a book about the Titanic. He wrote it in honor of his father. It's been more than 100 years since the ship sank, but stories of its survivors still fascinate and inspire us. In this way, the mighty ship sails on.